So, I did a video yesterday talking about how good of a game um, Terminator Resistance was. Not so much as, like, talking about gameplay, but more about, like, what it does for the Terminator franchise. In that I said, like, it's probably one of the best Terminator things we've gotten in the franchise since T2. Is it a perfect game? That's debatable. I'm not a video game channel, obviously. Um, but I praised it for, you know, really bringing back what makes Terminator so good. Tension, um, atmosphere, you know, storytelling, all of that. All of that was in Terminator Resistance. The game, even, the, even though I didn't focus on the gameplay, I was more focused on the story and why I was like, yeah, this was a breath of fresh air after, like, years of shit move of mediocre to shit movies. You know, as uh, my friend Jason said, why can't I have cool why can't we have cool shit like this for our uh, for the uh, for this IP? Right? I also was told um someone told me non sequitur, but um someone told me when I did that video that the same people who did Terminator Resistance did RoboCop Rogue City, which I haven't played, but I've seen gameplay of and story and watched the story because I'm Here's the thing, I'm not a gamer in the sense that I was like, oh yeah, I gotta go on online play and, you know, go, you know, up my score and whatever. No, I play video games if they have an engaging story, if it's an IP that I love, um, and if it's, like, something that would interest me as a gamer. You know, I'm more into single play and for storytelling than I am actual, like, you know, paywalls or, you know, multiplayer or shit like that. I care more about, like, you know, the thing called storytelling, which is seemingly being lost every year in new video games. But what the fuck ever. So yeah, it came to my attention. Someone told me that, hey, the people behind Terminator Resistance um, also did Robocop Rogue City. And now I want to play that game. I want to get and play that game even more now because I fucking love Robocop. And there's another thing that has had no love for that franchise for a while. But I digress. But the re one of the things, getting back on topic and why we're here, is because I talked about, in that video, I talked about how they made the T-800 units scary in that game. Like, when you first encounter a T-800, you are terrified of it because you can't fight it. Like, you, you got guns. Like, at that point, you have, like, an assault rifle, shotgun, Uzi, handgun. You've got explosives. They do jack all, jack all against the uh, a single T800 unit. Like I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna fight this thing. Take, took out my shotgun and just like fired it once. It did nothing on the health bar. Like it just did it that much. It turns around, fires its pulse rifle at me, and I got half my health gone. I had to like scream and I scream and ran into like uh, like hid. And for the whole game, for the whole part of that level, I was scared of being detected because it wasn't just one t-800 it was multiple and again there are other versions of there are other terminator units in the game but again what made me so um impressed by this because it made me afraid of the t-800 again i think people forget that like originally the first movie and that's why i, I brought this up is that it's time movie wise to make terminator scary again and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Because the T-800, I think people forget that we've been... And even Hollywood has forgotten. Hollywood has basically... And with good reason, T-2 was more of an action sci-fi. But even James Cameron, you know, forgot this. That the original Terminator film was more about horror. It was a sci-fi horror than anything else. And I think it's high time that we go back to basics and look back at term the Terminator. Not in the sense of, oh, we need to go harvest and milk that nostalgia cock for, you know, you know, for money's sake. What I'm saying is we need to go back to what makes the T eight hundred scary. But you can't have a T eight hundred without Al Arnold. Yeah you can. You liter you really can. They were it wasn't just a, you know, Schwarzenegger who was the model skin. Um, they had other, the T, they even say in the first movie, the T-800 units had different skins because they were all, they were uh, meant for infiltrator units as well. So you can literally have a new actor, anybody really, 
to play this new Terminator. And the thing is, I like you, I want to see Terminator the the T eight hundred treated like a fucking slasher villain. That's how he was treated in the first movie. Like when Reese is screaming into the camera, he can't be bartered with. He can't be reasoned with. You know, you he's gonna find her no matter what. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill Sarah Connor, and there's nothing you can do to stop him with the weapons you have. So that's what I think we should go back to in a new Terminator film is to make it more sci-fi horror and make the T. Because the whole thing is, you can't stop this thing. You can't kill it. And if you do, you got to bring a lot of firepower or be very or be very smart as to how to take it down. I would love to see a Terminator movie. That would be kind of... I guess you could requel, uh, requel it again and have it be that, like, this other... T but have no other soldier come... Like, there's no Kyle Reese coming to save you. That's what I think would be the change here, is that there's no Kyle Reese to save you. Now, I would have in the movie this person being stalked by the T-800 unit, um, but the difference would be, for this film, would be that... Um, maybe have someone who worked in Cyberdyne is like, yeah, we knew, it. like, there was a thing that happened in, night in the 1980s. We took parts of it, and then it got blown up in the 1990s, and we've been trying to rebuild it ever since. Like, basically say, like, yeah, John Connor, like, yeah, John Connor did delay, um, ju you know, Sarah and John did delay Judgment Day. It's still gonna happen, but now with everything destroyed from Cyberdyne, um, they're having to, like, reverse engineer what they had left and build, you know, Skynet is now, like, just coming on, like, they've just now put together Skynet. Um, but have one, like, the guy trying to help is basically like, yeah, we knew about these things, but we thought that they were just gone. Like, like the time, like, we had to really, like, have it that, like, we really had to talk about, like, time travel and stuff like that. And we thought that we just, like, what John and Sarah did was basically make a new timeline because we built all these, we built Skynet again, but this time we put in programs to, um, to keep this AI from getting smarter. Like, we built safeguards in it, you know, to learn from it after what happened with Miles Dyson. But it's clear that nothing's working because we keep seeing these term like, even have it that, like, Cyberdyne and the government are, you know, always looking out for new Terminator units and have it that, like, I wouldn't say anything about John and Sarah. I wouldn't say anything about them, but have it that T-800 units do come back to the past every so often, every, like, every decade or so and kill and try to hunt down someone and sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. This particular person is marked for death because, like, either they are carrying a member of John's resistance or are going to be a member of John's resistance um, that's going to be like a higher up or vital to the resistance uh, on a whole and yeah the other way you could do it is have it that no one's coming to save you you don't know what it is like have it that they figure out this whole thing with the Terminator th naturally like they, f they shoot at it it just breaks off and like it's metal skin under there yeah bring back the, uh, the just the uns like just basically write it like you're writing a Jason Voorhees movie that's basically what the ter original Terminator was was that it was basically like Jason but with guns so do that like j it's not that hard to make a Terminator film and not make it like a high budget film you could just do like the original Terminator wasn't that high budget either so just go back to like a low budget film get like a big dude I don't know who you could get uh, to play the Terminator. Like you'd need you'd need like a credible actor to replace, you know, because Arnold said he's he's not interested in doing another Terminator film. So I would say you'd get someone big, big name, probably like big person too, um, and probably someone who can, you know, actually Kevin Durand would actually be a pretty cool Terminator. Um, Kevin Durand, he's done a lot of uh, he's done a lot of roles here, here and there. Most recently, he played he was in Abigail as a big as like this big muscle guy. Um, must it, like body wise, I think Durand he's he usually plays like comedic roles. 
Um, he is a serious actor, but um, he Durant, Kevin Durant would actually make a pretty good D eight hundred. I would also say like I can't remember his name, but he most of you guys would know him best as the actor who played Tormund in Game of Thrones. He'd also be pretty cool, or like yeah. So there, you're, there you go. This video is just more about let's just make Terminator a horror, a sci-fi horror again. You know, don't depend on like Linda Hamilton or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do something new with this IP because it's very clear trying to do, replicate the same thing over and over again was fucking stupid and it didn't fucking work. This game right here literally just gave you the blueprint of how to do something original with this IP and still make it a love letter to the fans. And if a fucking video game can do that when um, a move like literally a uh, you know a high budget movie can't, I don't know what to fucking tell you, honestly. But anyway, so what do you guys think? Would you want to see a term a horror movie Terminator film, or what would you want from it? And also, who would you want to play a new T eight hundred? Yeah, just comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.